there's no such thing as the sisterhood. There never was. Women choose and select when they want to be on women's side. In all reality, women do not like each other. We just don't. And I just want to say we as a collective, because I am a woman, but I don't really like to see myself this way. Um, I don't intentionally dislike women. I feel like life kind of programs to have you. I dislike how a lot of women behave. Definitely, definitely. You know, you're, you're one, one paycheck away. Doesn't matter who you are, you are one paycheck away from being out here. Don't ever take for granted anything that you have because you're literally $100, $200 away from being out here with the rest of them. Triggered is your thing. Please exit out right now because I promise you, you are not going to like me today. If you don't want to hear the truth, if you don't want to be honest, I promise you, you are not going to want to hear me today. This is not the video for you. So if you are sensitive, please click off. I'm going to tell us sisters. I'm going to tell us women. I'm going to tell all of us. All of this is all of our fault. We are self-destructing and we are crumbling right before our very eyes and it is hilarious. It's hilarious to someone like me because I've been trying to warn about this for so long, way before I got on YouTube. If you know me from other platforms, you know I have not been a shy when it comes to this. But we have self-destructed in front of our entire eyes and it's quite hilarious at this point. And it's women of all races, all creeds, all ages, but especially us older women us women over 30 it is hilarious at this point watching everyone cry on the internet about how hard life is and how our finances and how oh now women are actually looking for a man to go 50 50 because life is so hard doing it alone which i've been trying to say i do not mind who you are or what a man is making Whatever he makes, it is more than what is currently in your household. Are you on track for payments for your large expenses? Yes or no? No. My HDB is around 300000 And for my school loan, I'm left with 15000 And it will just uh, cut down automatically in my credit card. You are paying off your student loan using your credit card? Yes. Okay. And do you pay on time for your credit card? Yes, but there are some days we are missed. Do you manage to save? Um, if I were to ask you to be honest with yourself, what do you think is the main reason why you haven't been able to save as much as you want to? There are some things which I feel like I'm distracted by and peer pressure, like your friends having the same makeup product, the same bag, and you kind of like feel like you missed out. Online doesn't really help because everyone is promoting everything. They're making it too easy. Yeah, and it's like tempting for you to shop more and get more <laughs> foundations <laughs> in the same shape. You know what I'm hearing, girl? The online shopping. Yeah, it's, it's an addiction, I would say. The unnecessary spendings because there are extra things that I would feel good after spending it. Give me an example of a very expensive, unnecessary item <laughs> that made you feel good. Usually higher end makeup, around $300. How often do you do that? To plonk down $300 for makeup, for example? Um, I will try not to make it every month, but it's becoming to be an every month thing. I think it's fair to say that Honey spends almost all of her take-home pay. Every month, she also puts at least $900 on her credit card on shopping and eating out. And there are so many women out there who are struggling so hard doing it all on their own that now they actually want somebody to go 50-50 with them. We have to stop. Your empowerment has been a lie. Everything has been a lie. They convinced you that during COVID, they convinced you just during time period that you were empowered as a woman, but you have always needed men always i'm sorry if people didn't teach you how to count i'm sorry if you didn't learn how to count of how much men contribute to your daily life but i'm here to help you be able to count because i love you
I love you so much. So I want you to know how to count. So you know how to treat people better. And honestly, for most of us, it is way too late. It is way too late. We are too old. We are too set in our ways. We are too a lot of things, a lot of us. If the shoe doesn't fit, don't wear it. But it fits for most of us. It is a one size fits all for most of us. Us women have been entitled, we've been brats, we've been nasty. That's why I say if someone in 2024 still wants to wife you, still wants to be with you, still wants to pursue you, you need to be thankful. Why? Because it is hard out here. It is harder than it's ever been and we have diminished our value the lowest that it's ever been. The woman's value in 2024 is so low. It's so low and we did it. We are self-destructing. We literally decrease our value. We all know that female parts or to make the world go around. Guess what? Guess what woman empowerment did? Brought down the value in the stock of female parts because guess what? You can go get sex for $20 if you want to. Heck, you can get it for five. You can get it for free. You can get it for nothing. And then on top of that, we got a whole bunch of women on the internet giving quote unquote game about how to do this and how to do that. Don't you understand that the men see the same internet that we do? Like, it's not like, oh, women internet is a thing and then men internet is a thing. No. And on top of that, men study us more, way more than we study them because they actually want to understand us and they have had a long standing um, stance of trying to understand women way more than we have them. So they watch our stuff just like we do. Internet for a cheap book telling all the secrets game, however you want to say it. And then you're surprised that men don't want to spend money. Men don't want to go on a date. Yes, guess what? Your sisters getting on the internet talking about what they do on a first date, how they finesse this, how they finesse that, how they play this, how they really don't like the nice guy and how the bad guy gets everything. You're really talking like that on the same internet that these men see and then you want to complain that they don't want you. They don't want you washed up, baby mom. They don't want any of that. And you're surprised? You really think that you can get on the internet and talk about how you play men and how you have four or five six kids and th even two even one and you get your man to, uh, or a man to do this this and that for your kids and you're surprised that men don't want to take care of other men's kids anymore like there has been so much of men excusing our nonsense and still dealing with us out of still wanting what we provide as women and for most for the most part for sex and now sex is so unvaluable that now we don't have any leverage all because of you and then you want to blame me and hate me and feel the way because I'm telling you I'm loving you by telling you I'm not hating you all of the hate and smoke that you have for me and more importantly that you have for men who have been keeping us afloat 